how hot is hot. Hot is pretty hot. This wire here is a uh, copper wire that's uh, uh, just uh, a number 20 bus wire. And um, this is a little stainless steel bowl. That's stainless steel. And uh, I'm just going to turn on the tinsel coil. And I guess you can see that the uh, tip of the copper is glowing orange. And um, I gotta watch the MOSFET temperatures here. You see, you see that incandescent white globule there. That's molten copper. And uh, it's a little drafty in here, so the arc is moving around on the stainless steel cup. But when it finds a spot spot right there. MOSFETs aren't heating up too bad. These actually I'm running IFR uh, 740s in here now. I've tried a bunch of different MOSFETs, and uh, the IRF 250, IRFP252s have the widest range of uh, application for this project, coincidentally. IRF 740s work pretty well, but you have to watch out because uh, they heat up very rapidly in certain regimes. Uh, drawing a power arc like this is not a problem. Uh, I guess you can see that the uh, there's more and more copper melting, and uh, even the uh, stainless steel bowl there has uh, is glowing uh, to red heat. Uh, you know, just. Just so you know that I'm not actually doing this with like a uh, welder or anything. There's the, the old tinsel coil down there. Tinsel coil driver, resonator, and uh, hot electric flame. I know you can see the glowing red spot on the copper, but um, can you tell that the uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can tell that the stainless steel is also glowing red hot there. Yeah, you got a nice red hot spot there. Now, I'm not sure what temperature it takes to make stainless steel glow red hot, but I know that uh, copper melts uh, just a little bit under 1100 degrees centigrade, 1100 degrees. And, uh, you know, clearly we're not having any trouble at all reaching that temperature. And that little globule of copper is not even really in the in the arc. It's uh, from the perspective of the camera it kind of looks like it is but it's not. It's actually behind the, uh, the flame there. So it's uh, not being melted directly by, by the arc. Still haven't made a hole in the stainless steel though but uh, I've certainly ruined its temper. Will you focus? Sometimes the autofocus works pretty well, and sometimes it don't. Mm -hmm. 
get it to go ahead and manual focus. It's a hot ball of glowing red-hot copper. I wonder what would happen if we gave it the staccato mode. Pile driver hitting it. Whoops. There we go. Back to normal mode again. Thought I'd blown something, but my finger just slipped off the button, that's all. Alright, that's enough of that. I think we've shown adequately that uh, there is heat in that flame. Thanks for watching.